Tilda Chapter 25, Invading the Latest Planet. On the planet Slyph, live the Do UI, basically beings like snakes but with arms, a world which is full of sports, warm weather, wide seas and buildings with small gaps to them. Their normal day however is about to get badly disrupted. A massive chain is coming from the sky, hitting into the ocean, which is no problem thanks to the Roxy Serpents and that the Stonos can swim, puzzling many of the Do UI there. As the chain lands, it all plays out in similar ways as explained by Hailwolf. Stonos start rushing there on foot or via the Roxy Serpents. Ozona also comes along as he uses telekinesis to hover from place to place, hovering on a piece of debris. However, unlike past cases, the number of reluctant Stonos has increased. With more starting to see Ozona's plans as too far or too horrid. More races are losing their free will and extra measures have to be performed if these snake beings start to get into martial arts, which they have tried to be secretive about to hopefully defend others or themselves considering how many planets are still getting harmed. These do UI like to watch planets via enhanced telescopes and often the fighting can be noticeable enough even from a distance. It was one of Xyantha's allies who had been spying from one planet to the next, seeing if other races had attempted to act as fighting vigilantes just like the Legion and many other beings, and it's those who get reported to Xyanthor and then the race gets attacked. Ozona however mainly rules over races that were once peaceful or at least not too concerning, but these do UI have tried to research the many forms of martial arts coming from many alien races. But what not many races do not know however is that it was Xyantha's race which had originated most forms of martial arts, and they have been spread around via other races which does not make Xyanthor happy. Even some powerful entities who used to exist spread words of the fighting styles too. Even some talked about how they saw Xyantha's race fight before and how impressive they seemed, adding to why only he wants to possess the knowledge of fighting. Regardless, most Stonos fight the Duyui which are more hostile while the more defective Stonos only help gather the Do UI in one spot for Ozona to speak to them all about the new way they will be living their lives. With a new addition of having some Stonos who watch the planet just so they can see if a planet is running peacefully or not. As Ozona hovers, some Do UI try and fight him up close, but he either zaps the Do UI minorly, uses his force fields to defend himself or uses telekinesis to move any Do UI aside. These do UI have no weapons and no proper abilities aside from slithering quickly and they can punch quickly. But what they can do has nothing on Ozona or the Stonos. The Stonos may have basic fighting skills but they can use their maces to gush air, winning a lot of fights. All the do UI have now gathered on a spot, for Ozona to have his speech about how his planet is now his alongside others. Scaring the do UI, but as long as they behave, they'll be fine which can be the tensest feeling ever. With another planet for Ozona to play politics with on his own, and so Ozona and most of the Stonos get back to their planet, with none of the Stonos getting hurt. It was another successful planet takeover, the ninth one to be precise. Ozona has been doing this since a certain event took place, the chains and transporting do take a while after all, not to mention going for certain planets after seeing what they are like. While Ozona has finished invading this land, not only does Molug remind Ozona via a communication spell that Xyanthor would like to see him soon but Molug states to Ozona that Hailwolf might have died, got captured, or something else because her teleporting device has broken. This puzzles Ozona, but he will make his way to Earth anyway, even with less of an idea for where the Earth could be, but he at least has a whole army to help with that, he nearly asks Molug but Molug leaves the call. And Xyantha's goons are busier now they need to keep Xyantha's reputation up.